going on, YouTube family and friends? Johnny here. Channel is Johnny Five Alive. I got something that I don't know if you guys bought it back in the day. I don't even remember what year it came out in. But um, it's when the first Spider Man movie came out with uh, Tobey Maguire. And I bought the limited edition DVD collector's gift set. Here we go. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys remember it now, but um, I opened it back in the day, of course. You know, I wanted to see the movie, so, you know, I saw it in theaters, wanted to see it at home. So, let's check out what's inside. This is the top part. It's called the cheat sheet, you know. I'm sure you guys are aware of it. We're going to get through that later. This is one of the contents that it comes in, that comes inside of it. Uh, for some reason, it was, it was an, it was like folded, bent, you know, how do you guys see it? But this is one of the contents. It's still in its bag. You know, it's a copy of, uh, well, we'll get to it. The Amazing Fantasy, you know, 15, so. It's pretty cool. What do you guys think? It's pretty awesome, huh? Are you Spider-Man fans at the back of it? Imagine having the original ASM 15. I mean, Amazing Fantasy 15, sorry. And this is a movie cell. This is from the movie. That's the, the movie part right there. And this is the actual cell right there. It's a piece of the film. Isn't that pretty awesome? I've had this for so long, I even forgot I had it. And then this is, uh, it's like original art. Um, the Ramitas, which is John Ramita and Junior and Senior, are one of the most impressive family dy dynast dynasties, oh my gosh, in the world of comic book art. John Ramita Sr. has drawn every major Marvel character, including Spider-Man, as artist, plot consultant, and senior art director. Ramita became an institution at Marvel Comics. Today, John Ramita Jr. continues the tradition at Marvel with his work on Spider-Man, The Hulk, and Plus. This is the art right here. Still in the bag, didn't touch it. From 2002. Isn't that pretty awesome? So I bought that 2002. And this is, uh, with great power comes great responsibility. This tells you everything. Like, um, Spider-Man was released theatrically on May 3rd, 2002. It many, shattered many boxes. Sorry, guys, I can't read today or speak. Many box office records, including the biggest opening weekend in Hollywood's history. The largest single-day box office gross. The fastest film to reach $100 million in only three days. Of course, now, you know, that's like almost every single movie and stuff. The first film to gross $30 million, $30 million in a single day in its second weekend. And it became Columbia Pictures, Sony Pictures Entertainment, top grossing film ever. That's why they don't want to get rid of it, right? So, that tells you a little bit of history about everything. You guys want me to read it all? I don't know. Created by editor... Writer Stan Lee and the artist Steve Ditko, Spider-Man was first appeared in the 15th and final issue of Amaz Amazing Fantasy, cover dated August 1962. A surprise hit with the comic book readers, the character was also granted his own title, The Amazing Spider-Man, seven months later. Since then, Spider-Man has appeared in numerous comic book and magazines titles a syndicated comic strip, animated cartoons, and a live-action TV series. 
And now, 40 years after his creation, the character has finally made the leap to the big screen in Spider-Man. Directed by Sam Riami, Riami, made the leap in the big screen. Big screen, sorry. Um, signed to star in the project were Tobey Maguire, uh, Willem Dafoe, awesome actor, Kristen Dunst, James Franco, Cliff Robertson, Rosemary Harris. Spider-Man has begun production on January 8, 2001 on Stage 29, site of Peter Parker's modest Forest Hills home at Sony, Sony Pictures Studios in the Culver City, California. <clears throat> The arena where uh, the wrestling scene with uh, Macho Man Savage, where Parker takes on Bonesaw McGraw, was staged on stage 27 in front of a thousand enthusiastic, enthusiastic extras. Also shot on the stage was the Times Square collapsing balcony scene, part of the World Unity <clears throat> Festival sequence, which was also filmed on sense, sets within a former Boeing plant in Downey, California. In April, the production moved to New York for two weeks on location shooting that included the Moon Dance Dinner in Soho, the Queensboro Bridge, you know, Queens, Columbia University, Laws. The company then returned to Los Angeles for principal <coughs> photography, which included nearly 100 LA and NYC sets on location was completed. So here's here's the original DVDs. There's a DVD right there. It's a little dusty. There's two discs, and then there's another DVD with extras. Of course, everybody knows who that is. And the DVDs are in there, including with the. You guys see that? There's a green goblin. I kept this for a long time. What is it, 18 years? Stan Lee's Mutants, Monsters, and Marvels. Look at that. It's brand new still. Never took it out of the box. This is the box inside. And I still don't know how that thing got bent, but anyways. You guys want to see it again? Oh man, I just bent it. There you go. So, I don't know. What do you guys think, man? That's pretty awesome, huh? <clears throat> Spider Man Limited Edition Collector's DVD gift set. The Ultimate Collector's Fantasy includes two amazing DVDs and a web of collectibles. <clears throat> this is the. This is that print, that comic book print. That's what it says about it. Ready? Collectible reprint of Amazing Fantasy number 15 comic book, which introduced the Spider-Man character. Let's see? Those are the contents. I never opened it. Never opened the bag. This is the collectible cinetype featuring a film cell from the movie personally selected by the director with his comments. There's the film cell. And then here's the art print. Limited edition offset lithographic reproduction of John Romita Sr. and John Romita Jr. Spider-Man artists. Isn't that pretty awesome, guys? I like it. There's a two DVD set right there. And then there's a one right there. That's pretty cool. And I still have it all complete. I don't know how I have it complete, but I've got it complete. I'm keeping it away from the kids, you know. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, guys. If you guys did, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget, my 400 subscribers still haven't reached 400 yet, you know. Uh, a little slow on the videos, but, you know, I'm trying to get in there, man. I'm trying to get back to it, you know. Um, just working a lot of hours. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said... Give a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down twice, okay? And bye for now. You guys have a good one. 
Peace out, guys, and Happy New Year. Peace.